You know those players at your courts who always seem to be in the right place at the right time? They hit the shot that they need to hit, the right shot. They seem to know what's going on on the court. In this video, I want to share with you a powerful technique that you can use to work your way towards being that player. My name is Tony. I'm your master teaching professional. And what we're going to talk about in this video is the mind. I'm going to give you a very powerful technique you can use to train your mind so that you become that player who's always in the right place at the right time, always hitting the right shots. The reason those other players look like they know what they're doing in every single shot is because they're being intentional. If they're trying to target your back end, for instance, then they're being intentional. They're intending to hit the ball towards your back end or lob it over you or whatever it is they're doing. Their shots are very intentional. The good news is intentionality is a learned skill. It's something that you can work on. It's like, think of it like a muscle that you develop over time that you can just work it out and you start learning how to be intentional. The more you're intentional, the more you'll be able to build on it and continue to be intentional. So let's break it down. Let's talk about it simply. So intentionality starts with where you stand on the return of serve. Are you thinking about that? Are you thinking about your court position, where you're standing back there, when you're getting ready to return serve? Are you thinking about it in terms of front to back, meaning how close to the baseline you are? Are you also thinking about it left to right? Do you want more forehands? Do you want more backhands? If you're not, that's a good place to start. You can start building intentionality into your game, just into your routine by making those sorts of decisions. The same thing with your shots. Are you intending to hit the ball somewhere? Doesn't mean your ball goes there. That's really important. The result isn't what matters. What matters is that you're intending a certain type of shot. Let's say you're intending a third shot drop. Good for you. You missed it. No problem. You're being intentional. And that's how you add intentionality to every decision you make out there, every, every act you take on the pickleball court. But let's broaden a little bit because you can work on intentionality before you start playing and even off the court. And that's important because again, it's a muscle and you can work it out. You can develop this ability to be intentional by working on your intentionality throughout your pickleball experience. So let's talk about what you do when you get to the courts. Are you a player who gets to the courts and you know they say, hey, we need a fourth and you just run out there? You haven't gotten your body ready, you haven't prepared, you haven't warmed up? If you're doing that, we would recommend stop doing that. Be intentional. Start with your intentionality even before you step out on the pickleball court. Let's even go one step back. What are you doing on the way to the court? Are you getting your mind ready to play? If your mind's not ready to play, how do you expect to perform? One piece of advice that you can use is you can listen to one of our podcasts, Pickleball Therapy. They're designed specifically for that. If you don't want to listen to that podcast, that's fine. Put on something that is appealing to you that you want to listen to on the way to the courts to get you ready. What is that? Intentionality. Now, let's even go a step farther back from that. What about the night before? You know you're gonna to play tomorrow for three hours, right? You know it's gonna be hot. Are you drinking water the night before? If not, what do you expect is gonna happen the next day? Probably gonna get dehydrated. That's intentionality. It even goes farther back than that. What about, let's say you have tightness in your leg, for instance. You think you're gonna be able to dink or run up to the MBZ if your leg doesn't work well? Probably not. Intentionality applies to preparing your body in order to go out there. And it's something that you can do right now. You can pause this video and stretch out whatever it is that's bothering you or, or do some exercise for two or three minutes. You can start this evening before you go to bed, stretch one part of your body. You know what that is? Intentionality. So as you build intentionality, starting from the most basic, if you will, although we would suggest it's the most uh, life-changing, right? Things like stretching at night, things like working on your body will be life-changing, will also improve your pickleball. You can start there, little by little, one thing at a time. And what you'll notice is you'll notice you'll start being more intentional when you're out on the pickleball court because you'll feel more in control about what you're doing regarding your pickleball journey, right? So including how your body is prepared, how your mind is prepared, how you're taking your time because it's your game that day to get out on the court. If that's, you know, that if you need time to stretch, you're gonna take your time to stretch before you get out on the pickleball court and play. And then what you'll do is you'll start adding intentionality to your positioning on the court. Something, again, as I'm going to say as basic in quotes because it's not basic, but it, it's fundamental and it's necessary. Where are you standing on your return to serve? Start focusing on that. Notice where you're standing. Notice what happens based on where you're standing. Are you having an easy time returning serve or a difficult time returning serve? If it's difficult, make adjustments. If it's easy, you're noticing it, right? That's intentionality and you're in a good spot. So you basically start building intentionality that way. 
then you add it to your shots. Next thing you know, you're adding intentionality to your position on the court, whether your partner's pulled off the court and you're defending, all sorts of other layers of intentionality. But start adding intentionality one thing at a time. It's a powerful mind technique that you can use and you'll become the player that everybody says, how come that player is always in the right place at the right time and always has the right shots? Have fun out there.